start, start. There we go. I started it. Stork, stork. Sorry, wait, stalked, Satan. I stalked it. No, we're not talking about Satan. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So, back to Ustalav. We have a map now. It's a map of Ankh-Morpork because I'm cheap. Also because I couldn't find any better. Anyway, and we stopped last time after you went to the herbalist and Connor embarrassed a lot of old people for basically no reason whatsoever. And I'm still not sure why he did it. It was nice. Because it was funny. And then he started going on about Satanism and I had to get him out of the herbalist. He had a sort of, he had a mental breakdown and talked about religion <laughs> for, I want to say, an hour. Yeah, that's a good yeah. Anyway. Hey, fuck you. Anyway, Mitch. Mitch isn't here today. So I'm going to say his guy. What was his name? Zidislav. I always forget. Uh, Zidislav wandered Zid. off. Zid, <laughs> Zid wandered off to find more booze. He went back. I was gonna say he went back to his temple, but you yeah, know what? I was yeah. Say that too. Like uh, he yeah. he went to his temple to nurse his hangover. He went away from you towards his temple, not too far, because then we can have him next week. No, not the next week, but next session, we can have him back easily. But he's for now he's gone off on his own. Yes. You three, okay. You went to the herbalist. You have one more thing listed on the list that Connor has. Or that the the Vicount has? Vicount? Vicount? Vicount. Vicount. The Vicount. You have one more thing on the list. The Vicount? And what was that thing on the list? It says... Uh, just magic shop. And like three question marks. But it also has and the address on profit. it. It also has the address on it, of course. Okay. Let's go to the magic shop. Um, hey, ho, Silda. I don't know where it is. Well, the magic... <sighs> Yet he oh. moves there immediately. I'm waiting. <laughs> sure, Zevi. I have no idea where it is. Oh, am I here already? What a coinkydink. <laughs> the magic shop. Because if you look at the map, and I told you there's a pattern emerging... It goes in a half circle and towards the uh, the city walls. So it will be indeed somewhere around what's called the Dragon's Landing redevelopment site on this map. God damn it, Kitty, would you... My boy's talking, sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little, let's see, around this uh, bit. This looks nice. There, magic shop. Oh. Oops. So you go there. Went, went a couple streets over. I guess I'll just move you. Boop. Boop. So you get into your carriage, leaving the flustered old people behind. Dump, 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 dump. Some of them, some of them shake fists towards towards the viscount. <laughs> you have made powerful enemies today. <laughs> <laughs> you will, you will rue the day. <laughs> so yeah, as you go into your carriage, you um, and, and make your way to the last thing on the list. You cross over into a more affluent neighborhood. Not, not. I don't want to say like not fancy pants rich, like where your restaurant is, but definitely like. Middle, middle class, you know? So it's like moderately nice looking pants. Yeah. Let's say these are the people who have like the upper class uh, shops, like the antique stores, the magic shops, that sort of thing. Obviously, since the... magic shop is why we're here. Yeah. So this is the upper middle class neighborhood. As you arrive at the address, you indeed see a magic shop that's closed, or at least the windows are like the windows, the shutters are down. There's a big closed sign on the door. Otherwise, it looks fairly normal and very not shitty. You know, it's just how it's... long does it look like it's been closed? Hard to say. 
the walls are definitely the walls are um, uh, not healthy. Uh, <laughs> clean. The, the walls are healthy and clean. <laughs> Very nice skin All tone. Right. Very good skin tone on the walls. <laughs> anyway, no, no the walls it. are the walls are clean. There's no garbage outside. However, con uh, considering the neighborhood. This is probably how it looks all the time, so very hard to say if it has been closed for a week or just an hour. Maybe you can find maybe you can find out more if you go in, or like look outside. Um, yeah, Tatel is gonna look at uh, look in through the windows. Uh, again, the shutters are down. Okay, and right. I'm I guess I'll start looking for and. Number one, I'll go up and knock on the door. Okay. Fresh and bold here. Knocking uh, on doors. How, uh, how do you knock? In what way? Uh, just like a standard like knock, like I'm trying to get their attention. You know, not the knock of like, hey, are you guys still open? But the knock of like, hey, I have business with you guys. I need to get a hold of you. So, so... So between, oh, I'm terribly sorry, I have to knock, and this is the police open up. Like between yeah. those two? Okay. Yeah, yeah, so basically Canadian police. I'm terribly sorry, so, but this is the police. So a, a rather forceful knock, though. Uh, yeah, that will work. Uh, s someone moves, the sh moves one of the shutters slightly to the side, and you see half of a face peering out. What kind of a face? It's just a... <laughs> Does it look like a man? <laughs> does it look like a bitch? It does not look like a man. Or a bitch? I'm a, I'll, 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 make I, eye, I'll make eye contact with it, because if I make eye contact with him, that means he has to open the door because he knows I'm there. <laughs> oh shit. Tatel 2 is looking at he knows that He knows that I know that he's there. Psychological warfare here. The eye... Yeah. The eye sees... Uh, sees dress focuses on him for a moment, and then the shutters shut again. You can't hear anything, but that might just be because the walls are pretty good quality and the door is thick. Does anybody... they don't open the door? No. Literally, someone opened up the shutters, saw you, closed... No, nothing. I'll look at the... Vi I'll, I'll turn back to the Viscount. Uh, do you want me to... do you want me to get in there? Viscount holds up a finger, walks mm -hmm. up, knocks on the door again. My name is Viscount Valamir. I'm here working with the officials of the city to investigate the goings-on. If you do not open the door, then I will assume non-compliance and have my lizard man friend here kick in your door so I can continue on with my business. You have till the count of ten. Draz, if you'd be so kind to count. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You hear- wait, four. you hear- okay, you hear someone shuffling. You hear something shuffling as the door opens a- like a breath. Like a- like as- as- like as, as much as one as the little chain allows that holds it holds it closed. <coughs> yeah, like one of those little stopper chains. You know what I mean. Yeah. And a. I don't want to say an old voice, but not a young voice. Middle-aged voice. A, a middle-aged voice <laughs> comes out. I don't care you. You pretend to be you fascists. I'm not letting you in. <sighs> Three, you can, two, one. Break you the can door go down. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So the voice <laughs> continues. The voice continues. Also, Zephy, roll me a... <clears throat> strength check? Yeah. Just straight up strength. Just overpower the door. One, two, three, four, <laughs> DC... <five>, DC... <laughs> six. Steady door. It's, yeah, it's a good door. <laughs> Hold on, my number lock was off. <clears throat> I love, I love this. Just not even listening. Fuck it, I'm going in. Look. This is a magic shop. It could be trapped for all you know. Good. I, that's why you I'm here. Walking, you could be walking right into a Volpo blade. 
Jesus. Well, that's why he's sticking his foot in, and not his head. <laughs> yep. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Just fucking killed that old man. <laughs> I hope. N well, fuck. Um. All right. All right. So <laughs> basically, the... I don't, I don't think Hurt expected me to have five strength. <laughs> I didn't know. This is. But it's a ten too. Jesus. I know. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, any yeah, well, you, you get in. I can tell you that much, but um Okay, so as the middle-aged man just said, I don't care who sent you and then the door flies open. Just as the <laughs> as the lizard man just shoulder bumps the thing away. The little chain just kind of says, Okay, maybe I care a little. No, the little chain just springs out of its holder. And the holder springs out of the wall for that matter. And the door Flies open, uh, clashes against the other wall, and just kind of hangs there, out of its <laughs> out of its hinges. Okay. So that door is done for. Uh, Zephy. Yep. I have to give you a bonus for this, I guess. Uh, okay. Give me a um. Is that required? <laughs> let me let me look up something real quick, cause I. For God's sake. Come on. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, by the way, I'm doing this all with just like a straight face. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Fucking course you do. Well, now you have a whole lot of muscles in your face to emote, anyways. <laughs> all the it's muscles like, have been allocated elsewhere. <laughs> well, I mean, just like this is just mm. standard business for him. Yeah, uh, God druid damn it. Breaker. Not really a druid. You just got oh, weird, I, crazy nature magic. I guess kind of a druid. I mean, really, the only things I'm probably going to be doing are going to be healing myself and just shape. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm. I have to open the book to the right thing here, and it doesn't. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. I'm cooking. So. Holy shit. Hoon's opening up a book. Yeah, I should have I should have had it open already, but no. Holy shit, who knows how to fucking read? Mm, Holy shit. I think that should be... Okay. It brings him miles be, uh, be, uh, above... Bleh. It brings him miles in front of everyone else already. Okay, um, I mean, Connor. Be fair, I heard my ankles so stop. And confirm that they in fact can read. Yeah, uh, hey Connor. Yeah. Uh, avoiding a sudden attack would be dodge, right? First, you'd have to know that is there. Right. So alertness. Oh, if if he's if it's me attacking the other guy, I'm not trying to hurt him. Okay. So the door down. all right. No, no, no. Okay. So first perception and alertness, I guess, if you have it. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Defense sorry. magic stuff. Um, uh, no, to sense to sense the attack that's coming towards him. That would be awareness. Oh, okay then. So just awareness, perception awareness? Awareness is your ability to notice, like, basically things out of your, uh, the corner of your eyes. <laughs> the skill awareness is actually, like, your sixth sense, so to speak. That's, you know what, that's, that's fair. Ah, you, you make it, yeah, that's three successes there. I mean, th regardless, that's on the low. That's on the low spectrum. You uh, okay? So, but you notice it. Let's see if you can avoid it. Then, the, I'm assuming he's trying to dodge the way. Yeah. Yeah. So, so give me a dodge and. Do you have anything else that with that has to do with dodging, Sophie? Mm, I mean, I have dexterity. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, and dodge and dicks. Athletics, athletics, acrobatics. Athletics is what you use to dodge. Athletics, then, okay. yeah. Athletics and dodge. dodge oh, okay. Yeah. And the DC, well, since you. Separate skills, and then decided that I was retarded. Yeah. And the DC is only five since you see it coming a mile away. And I'll tell you what it is once you roll. Okay. Well, here's my question. If I move. Is he going to end up hitting somebody else? Is he going to end up hitting the other two? That's a good question. Where are you other two? 
I was thinking um, the turtle would, would be like standing somewhere. It just happened to be in the right place at the right time using an entropy effect. What? Thanks. Only I, you talked over each other. Go ahead, Kana. I would like to be in the right place at the right time using entropy. Okay, for what exactly? To get hit in the face? Uh, no. It's okay, not you know what? You know. Okay, Zephy, you roll first, and let's see if you avoid it or not. Okay. Well, because I mean, if I'm because obviously, I don't want to, if one of them is in the way, I'm gonna just I'm gonna tank the hit. Well, that no, no. If here's the thing, if you, <laughs> I want to say, if you manage to avoid it, then Connor is in no danger, and if you if you get hit by it, then Connor is also in no danger because then he is, is right behind you and you block it. Okay. Well, I was also going to protect Tatel as well, if Aww. she's right there. Well, you. <laughs> yeah, she's probably right behind you. Just, just roll your things, Abby. Just, okay. On. Athletics and dodge. <laughs> and like I said, the DC is only uh, is only five. Bit annoyed by that because I wanted to hit you in the face. Ah, he's... okay. He makes it. Six. Huh? Standard difficulty is always six. Yeah, and but then you yeah, for whatever magical effects going on, you'd also roll die pool for that, depending on the RT of the caster if it's magical. Yeah, but he, he easily avoids it. It's actually <laughs> it wouldn't Generally, it wouldn't matter either way. Just for the future, just for future sake, Kern. Um, generally, in order to actually notice that there is a magical effect up, would require you to have like a pre-existing road up to be able to see it. Otherwise, like people typically can't detect magic by just. I by somebody moving their fingers. Yeah, no, I I get that. It's just that, considering he rolled two nines and a, considering he rolled two nines and a ten, and I will tell you why he noticed it so easily. Zephy, you yes. break the door. You don't even break it open. Uh, you literally just break the door. Yeah, fuck. Yep. yep. The moment you do, you see inside the store, which is kind of empty looking there's a middle-aged guy that you just shoved out of the way he looks very unhappy about it and at the counter is a small boy with a scroll in his hand reading feverishly and then pointing a finger at you hmm. now no no that's and you because it's kind of obvious that something unpleasant will happen like dodge out of the way Take the take your boss, the Viscount, down with you, because he was just in the right place for you to do that. Well, and if Tatel's there, I'll take her too. I'm I want to say protecting both of them. Not I yeah. Just roll the anything for it. Not just the Viscount. I'm protecting both of them. Fair enough. Because, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. You. Clearly, she works Zephy. with the Viscount. So. Yes, Zephy. Let's just say you, you get down, Mr. President, both of them. Okay. Kay. Make it easy. He rolled like four successes. I, I mean, yeah, you saved Look, him. Combat, you your, is what I, combat is what I do. Like a big damn hero, you just... Um, I'd actually like to say right place at the right time. Uh, like, Drez down, down Mr. President's pots, and then the Viscount, like... Nonchalantly, as he walks in, watches like the ma like the fucking magic missile just whiz past his face and keeps walking in nonchalantly. <laughs> yes. Fair enough. And it yes, wasn't. Awesome. <laughs> and it was indeed a magic missile. Actually, three of them just zipping past you. Pew, pew, pew. <clears throat> and hitting the hitting the wall on the opposite street where they disperse without doing any damage because I'm you know. <laughs> And, yeah, let's see. The boy... Uh, sorry. The boy scrambles behind the counter to do... things. Obviously, you can't know that. And the middle-aged man tries to stand up. Like, this, this, is, this all happened in, like, not even five seconds. So what do you do? Uh, um... I would like to use entropy and uh, let's say mind for mental illusions 
to have dramatic back lightning. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and dramatic with accompanying ominous thunder as like the Viscount, the fucking super thin dude just like standing in the doorway, standing up and proper, and there's like the fucking backlight from the lightning. God, you wanna roll for that? Sure. Do it. And it then works. I and You've I'll done also, it. You've done it. You one of my roads. Barely I'll done also, it, but you've done it. <laughs> and I will I guess I'll also begin my rote for magic detection. Yeah, Zevi, give me a moment, because you No you're you fine. Still, you still actually have to like I does does uh Tail does Tail do anything because you just got like thrown to the ground by the lizard man basically. Yep, Tail eeps and holds her wide uh, wide brimmed hat down over her uh, over her head as she feels the magic missile whiz about uh, above her. And Get then down, she Mr. looks. President. Then she looks up as the uh, as the missiles disperse on the uh, on the wall um, opposite the uh, the opposite building behind us. She looks up and she goes, "What in the world do you think you're doing?" Is this is this to me or the shop or the shopkeepers? The shopkeepers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, <laughs> the shopkeeper is. I want to say quite fucking intimidated right now. Because someone broke down his door, and then some dude came in, surrounded by ominous light and sounds, and he just stands there like a goddamn vampire. Uh, <laughs> ominous thunder and lightning, would you like me to roll intimidation? Oh god. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna make him crap their pants. Absolutely, DC... I don't... fuck it. Whatever. Jesus Christ, the guy is pissing his pants. Um, by the way, I, I have a specialization in intimidation. <laughs> oh, great. Um, making an entrance. Ha! <laughs> nice. Well, you certainly did. So, what was the difficulty in the first place? Honestly, like, four. Oh. This so guy, you, one, you two, are, <laughs> you expertly, success. you expertly. Intimidate the guy so much that he's literally pissing his fucking pants right now. Oh, poor guy. Like, he's just... <laughs> and now that you have a closer look at him, I assume you take a closer look and you don't, just don't... not just ignore him. Right? Uh, yes. Judgmental stare and everything. <laughs> he looks... He isn't old. But he's certainly a man who has not aged well. There's a man who is beaten down by stress and by customers and just by life in general. Like, he had a lot of work in his life and every single minute is etched in his face. This is not a guy who wanted to do you any harm. Okay. Or at least he doesn't look like one. And now, he's clearly fearing for his life. Oh. Oh. I'll, pro I'll put Tatel back up in like a standing position. Adjust her hat if it's <laughs> adjust her hat if it's if it's off center. It's she will swat your hands here. away from that hat. It's my hat. <laughs> just props her up like a doll. There you go. <laughs> it's your hat. No, it's um. just it's like it's like helping a child stand back up. <laughs> Oh, she will nail you with a glare. I just imagine that going on in the background while Connor has his very impressive entrance there. <laughs> <Me too>. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll start I'll start putting the door back into a relative like, No, the door position is with the you door. um the, the moment you touch the door, the other hinge falls off too and it just falls to the ground. Okay. I'll, with a loud I'll move, twang. I'll start moving the pieces of the door outside. <laughs> Tail is like, Tail just reaches out for you and, and just shakes her head. He, like, don't ruin this dramatic entrance no. with, uh, with the The shopkeeper, the shopkeeper obviously has other problems right now than the fucking door. Like, he's clearly, no. he thinks, he thinks the Viscount will kill him. 
Obviously, he looks like it. And he tries no, to. Yeah. Let, let me do it first. Let me do it first. He tries to shuffle away from you, like like not even standing up. He's kind of like he's panicking. Clearly panicking. He wants to get away. He's fearing for his life. Uh, no sign of the boy so far. Now that our our boil distractor of communication is out of the way, I will repeat myself. My name is Viscount Valamir. I am assisting the city guard in a matter concerning the local safety con with infestations of large and unusual vermin. Are you doing this in your normal voice or is it like a booming thing? <laughs> normal voice. Okay. His normal voice is booming. Uh, however, I mean, it is Valamir's normal voice. However, Valamir's normal voice is... Uh... Exactly. Really fucking creepy. Okay, yeah, that... Oh, Jesus. Anyway, the, okay, the shopkeeper, like, like scrambles away from you and just... Okay, he, he's not the youngest guy anymore. He can't just stand up and jump away. So he scrambles on the ground, all the while muttering, Oh, God, please don't kill me. I didn't mean it. Please, I can, you can have your money. The money's behind the counter, please. Just don't take the boy. Don't take just don't take the boy, please. He didn't do anything. He just what? wanted to protect me. No, 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 God, no. No, no. He just easy, dissolves, no, into, dissolves into questions. tears. Actually, no, Tadel is going to stand back and let the Viscount handle this because he's obviously got it under lock and key. Yeah, the, the guy is panicking and just tearing up and crying now and sobbing. It's just terrible. Congratulations, uh, Connor. You made, you made an old man fear for his life. He walks over to the man and, like, <laughs> takes off his glove and then slaps him in the face. <laughs> like, not hard, just, like... Surprise. The um okay. So, the man's head stop sobbing on your floor. The the man's head, um like even though the slap was <coughs> sorry. <coughs> God. Uh even though the slap survive, but it doesn't sound like you will. <coughs> I swallowed some air. <coughs> I forgot how to breathe for a moment there, sorry. Um <laughs> the, even, <coughs> even though the slap isn't hard. Uh, his face rolls to the side and just stays there as if he's afraid to look you in the eye or do anything and I want you to uh, what do you roll like what would be a sense motive here what would that be in mage uh... empathy Pro yeah empathy empathy is good oh okay empathy and Wits. Or. Jesus Christ! Yeah. Can't you roll bad for once? <laughs> Fine. <No. laughs> you um, you can't know a hundred percent for a hundred percent, but you are very sure that whatever it is that's happening right now happened to the guy before, as a warning of some kind. Like, clearly, like, the way he's behaving, he knows how to behave in this situation to not make it any worse, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Sir, sir, please stop sobbing on the floor and get yourself back together. Please just, don't, your... please just don't kill the boy. I'm not going to kill the boy. Although you should probably keep him from killing himself before he pulls out some sort of wand that explodes in his hand. And, of, of, of course, sir. Of course, sir. Boy! Boy, please, come. Come out. Don't. Please don't try to fight. And then a couple seconds of silence. Then you hear something, something heavy fall to the ground behind the counter, and the little boy comes out, arms up in the air. And now that you see him, he can't be older than like 10 or 11. God damn it. And he has like a little... He is He's kind of dressed like the shopkeeper of a magic shop would dress, but it's, it looks more like a costume. <laughs> right? Like he's clearly, he's clearly just helping out his, his grandfather or whatever here. 
So he comes out, hands up, and he looks very... Um... How do I say this? He looks... Ah, fuck. What's the word? Yeah. Yeah. He, lo he looks angry, but he knows that he ha doesn't have a chance. Like, he's a, very, he's a very angry kid, but he knows he's too weak to do anything. Frustrated? Oh, yeah, that's a good word. Very frustrated. So, yeah, and he just stands there for now. Now, before you continue having a heart attack, I'm sure that you have heard me after the third time, correct? Yes, yes, of course. The, the money is I behind it. I apologize the... for scaring you. I have a... People say I tend to have a... Um, I make strong entrances. Just take the money and, and go, please. be a little overzealous in his service. Excuse me, I have a question. Why do you keep rambling on about money? Look, you don't have to do this whole theatrical thing. I know I owe you, know I owe you guys money. I shouldn't have tried have to keep you out of never here. But met before. No, but I met your boss. See you last time. He's my boss. She points to the Viscount. 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 If I have to remember it, you do it. You have to. Everybody's gotta remember it. Viscount. Viscount. Okay. He looks, okay, and for the first time, he actually looks up into the Viscount's face. And. Mental stare. Yeah, and obviously he's still intimidated as hell, but he also doesn't recognize you. And he. Got, uh, but you are. I, I thought you were. Evidently, I am not who you think I am. I am who I say I am, sir. Uh, you're not with... Uh, oh, fuck, what was the name? Shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're not with shit. No, it's not... Did I not... In fact, we didn't even know it had a guild here. Didn't write the name down. Um. <laughs> uh, okay. What, what sounds w weirdly Greek? Um, <laughs> he just looks up at you. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm badly prepared today for some reason. He looks up to you and says, <laughs> you, "You're not with, you're not with Krizab." No. But, 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 why did you break down my door? Because you refused to let us in. And Draz close. broke down your door, and Draz can get a little over eager at times. And for that, I apologize. I will just... pay for the for the repairs on your door. <laughs> he looks to Tail, and he looks like he's about to say something, but then decides not to. <laughs> you literally, you have to. Okay, from from the guy's perspective, he closed his shop. He was expecting some career some career criminals to come for some debt he owes <laughs> and then someone just breaks down his door and scares the shit out of him for literally no reason <laughs> but, yeah no At reason to don't... him like the door was closed <laughs> you How should call <laughs> All right, so Valamir <laughs> will pull out like two three coins to like whatever roughly the cost is for repairing the door um, and, like, place it on the counter. <coughs> I'm very sorry for the damages right into your... If you put, if you okay, put down, wonderful. if you put down, like, three or four gold, that's easily enough. For a very oh, good yeah. door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's the man is still shaken, obviously, but he managed to get, like, on his feet again. <laughs> so, god damn it, Seth. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Closed? That doesn't mean anything to me because I can't read. <laughs> Look, Look. 
Look, he wanted to get in. He wasn't letting us in. I Doors killed my family. <laughs> no, that was Windows. Oh my god. <laughs> he, um, okay, he gets to his feet and motions to the boy to come over to him. Who does so and they kind of they stay close together. And then he addresses well, probably the Viscount, to be honest, because the, you other guys are obviously just paid help. And Dress is a fucking maniac, a psychopath. I'm, I'm a giant look, lizard. Again, I'm a tiny again, girl. I moved the door out of, I moved the door out to next to the wall of the shop, <laughs> so it's not in the way of whatever business they have. You like pick place. it up, and from like where you're holding it, like the top half just folds down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Puts a town on the ground outside. That's, that still works. Can I have like a half door, yep. like a horse? <laughs> of course. He addresses the Viscount and, and says with a shaking voice. And <clears throat> pardon if I can't do a shaking voice, but I just, well, it's I, okay. I, I thought I, I I was I was expecting someone else entirely. I, uh, well, it is a good thing I'm not them. The, uh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Could you, boy, get, boy, bring me a chair, please. I have to sit down. Boy. 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 Uh, this is my, he, he points to the boy and to the gun. This is my, my grandson, Frederick. Hello, Frederick. He's, he's 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 helping me out with the shop. Yeah, Frederick comes back with an old uh, an old stool, gives it to his grandfather, and he sits down. Like the grandfather, not the boy. That would be a bit impolite. <laughs> yeah, just pull, pulls up a chair. This old man and sits on it. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have to remember that. So Someone will do that eventually. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. Get your own chair, old bastard. I own this shop soon. It's mine. Anyway, yeah. So the guy sits down and seriously starts shaking now. Like, it seems like <laughs> The shock really got him by now. <sighs> I'm... I'm... Terribly sorry for... Misjudging your character. Good sir, I just... We had some... We had some run-ins with... Uh, certain people that wanted... Uh, wanted to get paid. As I've gathered... But, 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 but why, why are you here then? So the, the shop was closed. It has been closed for, for weeks now. Nobody comes here. I give him a deadpan stare. <sighs> for the third time, I have been working with the city guard for public safety. City guard? God. Your shop was on the list of places that have had visitations by vermin of unusual sizes. Giant bugs. Oh, 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 that rodents of unusual size. I, to be, oh, I, to be frank, sir, I didn't, ex I didn't expect anything to come out of this anymore. It's been. A while since I felt that report. Uh, if you could, he tries to get up and immediately falls back down as his knees gave give out. It just sits there. Uh, Frederick, could you could you show these these gentlemen the um, uh, the place where the books were? Maybe there's still something to find. I'll I'll just sit here and and. Try to get my breath back.
Well, and Frederick just, Thank you me. know. Frederick then waits for you to do something. Hey. He's clearly frightened. He's clearly afraid of you. As he should be. Because he's <laughs> psychopath. Table turns to Frederick, arms crossed. Well? He, um... Could you take us to where uh, the vermin first came into your abode? About... Uh, about a month back, maybe? I, uh... Um, yeah. It's... it's uh, please, everything... It has been. It was all taken care of rather quickly. I'm not quite sure why, why the why the sudden interest now. It's been over for a while, but Frederick will show you easily. And Frederick then, then points towards a um, a door in the background and motions you towards it, like like in a, a please follow me motion. Then we'll follow, follow him. Yeah. Uh, it's a rather it's a really boring door, to be honest. Like, it's obviously, obviously it goes to some storage area. So, the boy opens it, you all go in, and you see... Well, first of all, the remnants of a really, really big flea. Gross. Very gross. Kale gets the shivers. Oh. If you want to, like... Roll to find out what that thing was. Um, yeah, sure. That'd be like what, what intelligence and whatever you have in terms of nature or insects. Let me just check that out. Like whatever yeah, book knowledge you have on your character sheets, it's it's not nothing difficult. Oh god damn it! It locked me out again. All right, I have an appropriate academics for this. Yeah, and DC okay. six. That just just DC six straight up. Uh, I mean, the boy could probably literally tell you, but you know, you're all smart except Dress, who's an idiot. Hey, what do you want to? Do you... <laughs> yeah, you know, you know. An appropriate penalty for not having a knowledge skill is a plus three to difficulty. Who oh, plus uh, three? Yep. And you didn't yeah, do it. For skills and talents, it is plus one difficulty if you do not, if you do not have a single dot of the skill. For knowledges, ah. it is a plus three difficulty. Plus three. But you do uh, have that. What kind of knowledge? I do not have an appropriate skill. Oh, so... in that case, you don't actually know. Huh. Yep. Wow. Uh, I don't know. What would it be? Uh... Giant fucking bugs. What oh. would it be? Intelligence and um, I'm guessing, would I be able to use animal can or research? Animal, animal things, can. yeah. Gotcha. Research mm -hmm. depends. Did you do research in giant insects? Well, not really, but then animal can, yeah. You really roll that to actually look up in library information about giant insects. Oh, yeah. Research doesn't decide what you know, it decides how well you're going to find I out. I got, them. uh, well, I got one success and one failure. You but got I nothing. Got one six. But, but, well, do you have to? Well, no, I guess you do have the knowledge, so. Yeah. What kind of knowledge? What kind of knowledge is this? Anything like insect or animal related, really. Um. You are a shapeshifter. You might actually be able to use that. I have animal. I have animal kin. That's about the only thing I think that I have. Use it. Heart. Yeah, that's animal. what I used. I mean, Tail barely. Tail at least knows what it is, although not like a lot of the minutia of it. Um, let's see if Grass knows it. So what? What would this be? Just animal kin and, and intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Terrible. Egghead. Hey. Oh, he actually makes Ooh, it. You know. It. Yeah. Also barely, but together. Well, you know barely what it is. Um, it is a mammoth flea. Hmm? Tittle shudders as you see. That Which is, is a very large mammoth flea. Yeah. And you only know the... Sorry, there was a lot of noise there. Um, you only know the basics about it. It's... Well, it is a giant flea. They not normally... They don't normally live in, like, cities. 
They are more like Ew. like they're wild things. They live like out in the woods and shit, and they are actually quite deadly if you get unlucky. Do we know what they typically feed on? Smaller in smaller insects, more or less. Huh. Interesting. Which brings me to the other thing. So there's a dead mammoth flea, or the remnants of one, and by the way, as you can guess, if you break into a magic shop as a giant insect, you won't live that long, because the thing has scorch marks on it, and like, dents where like, presumably something hit it, like a magic missile or something. Hey. So, it died pretty fast, and it had no chance, basically. Nice. And, nice. but next to it, okay, but, next to it. Is a pile of what was at one point books and scrolls. And which is now... Well, technically, still books and scrolls, just in a lot of small pieces. Like they got eaten. Hmm. Or like, dissolved. Or something. Dissolved? Uh, for lack of a better word. And the, the boy uh, points at it and says, uh, we had a, we had an infestation here of bookworms. Well, that accounts for mm. the remnants. Interesting. Uh, we didn't, it was, uh, they weren't here before. We put them, we put them in from the... Okay, loud noises again. Um, uh, it, it wasn't here where the infestation was. We had to close down that room after the uh, after the guard was here. But we found the we found the books destroyed after we dispatched of this monster thing, and we uh, brought it over here. And we we've been waiting ever since for someone to take them away. To be honest, but I think we got forgotten. How strange. Hmm. However, this brings us no closer to the beginning I... of this entire infestation chain. Well, uh, first of all, do you, if you want to find out more about the bookworms, it's the same knowledge check again. Okay. Fuck you. I know the fuck out of what bookworms are. You know. Actually, you would. Yeah, obviously. And Zephy, do you want to try? Um, out of what? I'm sorry? The same knowledge check, Zephy. Pay attention. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to place that one extra dot of background. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nope. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, That's a lousy goddamn roll. Nope. You negative <laughs> know what it is. Dress just kind of blue screens in his mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Tadel. Yes. Bookworms, this particular kind, are uh, seemingly normal worms, but they feed off, like, mostly magic books and magic scrolls. They are a fucking they... menace for wizards everywhere. <laughs> As Tadel realizes exactly what kind of bookworms they are, she squints at first and then she just goes, Oh! Oh! You had... These bookworms! Oh, goodness, they are a menace! Yeah. They also eat normal books, but they really like to eat magic. Who and knows these why? these are the only books that have been affected? Well, the... The ones that we could find the remnants of, yeah. We had a lot more... So that kind of got us. In, that was that kind of got us into problems with Chrysop in the first place, to be honest. But you ha you have to ask you have to ask grandfather f about that. Uh, I can show you where the where we found them uh, originally. Yes, please. We would love to see that. Yeah. It will bring us quite further in, yeah. in our investigation. He brings you out of the the storage room and leads you towards the back of the shop. And a, a a stairway that goes up. 
Oh, we follow, obviously. Yeah. We. You end up in a large, kind of circular room with a lot of bookshelves on the sides of the rooms and in the middle. Very much packed, packed tight. Ooh. And they're all empty. Every oh, single one of them. Just... Oh, this is like looking at a graveyard. It's giving me the willies. Yeah. Um, some of the bookshelves have visible, like, fighting marks on them. They're scuffed. They're kind of broken apart. They, they look very much like they fell down and someone put them back up. So. Oh, this entire room, this entire collection. Oh, that must have been horrible. Yeah, and he got. Yes, yes, grandfather didn't take it well when we found it after a long weekend. There was nothing we could do. To be honest, I, I think he would have preferred if the flea ate him. <laughs> I would probably feel the same if my collection had suffered such a horrible fate. Tadel says that she puts so, her hand up with some of the scuff marks. Yeah. So we lost everything, and that's why Grandfather had to borrow some money from. Well, you know the kind of people. And then they wanted their money back really quickly, and. Well, yeah. Well, that explains your predicament. The, the boy nods very sadly. Like, this is not something an 11 year old should deal with. No, it isn't. Oh, that, uh, he looks at, he looks at, um, Tadel. Not dress, by the way, just Tadel. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry about the magic missiles, by the way. Well, no harm, no, and, um, no foul, no harm. I mean, no they harm, went no quite foul. over our head. Also, you should not be, uh, you should not be tossing around magic missiles at your age. It's, very dangerous. He, he kind of shrugs. Also, he very, very, he very openly wanted to hit Dress in the face with them. By the way, like that, there's not even, there's no apology for that. Take it from someone who knows Frederick. Magic can be very volatile. Do not treat it lightly. <laughs> yes, I know. I saw a very special episode of my favorite theater play about. <laughs> an after school special <laughs> no, no no he's just he just he's 11 he's not he's not believing you <laughs> you know Tatel can or, see that or he'll he's continue not, he's not listening to you he's not he'll listening to you he'll continue to cast magic behind the gym like between <laughs> lessons <laughs> look it's the cool thing to do alright you can't understand you're old <laughs> Um, table anyway, with this, this this tiny sour pout of determination on her face, and she, uh, and she will go. Do you want to get your head uh, your head blown off? He thinks about it. No. Frederick, this is not a difficult question. <laughs> because casting <coughs> missiles like that all willy nilly, without knowing what uh, exactly what they do, without having the proper experience with them. That's how you get your head blown off. He, he's he's trying to not look you in the eyes. It's just you know. <laughs> he and doesn't even know snaps you. Little sparks. Uh, table <laughs> snaps and little sparks fly from her fingers. <laughs> <coughs> you know, of course, right now you're a stranger, Absolute and you're just, <laughs> just talking down to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> The table doesn't give a shit. She knows so shit. And she wants to make sure that this kid doesn't blow himself up. He will not listen and you know. God damn it. In the meantime, okay, while you, <laughs> while you talk down to the child about the proper use of magic and how he shouldn't smoke because it's really unhealthy. And stay in school, Don't kid. Smoke. Don't smoke stay magic in school, kids. kids. Don't smoke <laughs> and, magic missiles, kid. Uh, while, okay, while you do that. Viscount and Dress. Yep. Yo. I know I'm using your title as a name. I'm sorry. Valamir and Dress. 
Uh, look, I use his name as a title. Do so. you want, if you want to have a closer look around the room? I would because, love to. All right, then give me, what do we use? Investigation and wits, I think? Investigation, perception. Perception and oh, investigation, boy. yeah. Yeah, use that. Oh, boy. DC. Can they do that too while, uh, when I'm done talking absolutely. about the Absol kid? Absolutely, DC um, 7. Never. Yeah, you got it. I have a specialty in spotting clues for investigation. And you got it. Dress got it. I have a specialty in animal instinct. Um, so I guess might anything come that in. Like smells or anything. I don't see like anything. I'm too hearing. busy chastising the kid. <laughs> Tatel doesn't. Tatel is super busy reading the Boy the Riot Act. <laughs> Meanwhile, you. Right to remain silent. <laughs> Meanwhile, Velomir and Dress, I'm just gonna tell you what you find individually. Like, like, look okay. uh, at. You both find a a lot of fighting um, uh, words, marks. You like like a lot of marks on the ground that clearly were from fighting a giant insect. There are burn marks on the shelves. The shelves, like I said, broken, put up again. That sort of thing. Like, you can easily, in your mind, reenact the battle, and it went all over the place. It was probably a sight to behold, to be honest. Like, this middle aged man Shit and the little. Was the, the, lit. Yeah, like the middle aged ah. man and the 11 year old boy just fighting a giant fucking fleet, like, thrice their size. <laughs> Pretty cool. How about you? Yeah. However, if you look further. Obviously, the flea had to come from somewhere. And even though it's a yep. big flea, and it's kind of like it's, it can squeeze and stuff, it has to come from somewhere. So you look at the ceiling, where there is a large uh, roof window. Or there was, because mm -hmm. now it doesn't have any glass in it anymore, and the, like the middle parts are obviously gone. Like it's just basically a hole. Hmm. Did you just do monster Paris us? What? Um. Did you just do monster Paris us? What? Never. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Now I feel dumb. Mm. <laughs> because you are. Oh, sorry. Um. Hmm. So yeah. So up uh, at you figure out really easily, pretty easily. Yeah, that's where the flea came from. Just dropped down from Ow. above. And found a lot of. Oh, what? Continue. It's Continue. not that. It's not that high up. It's like. If I tell you meters, you won't know it. <laughs> it's not that high up. Just tell me meters. I can Google it. It's it's like two and a half dresses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like it's one of those. Those old tower things that got converted into a room. Her meters and yards are very close to one another. We'll understand. Okay, fine. It's like four and a half meters or so. Okay, that is, is actually it... pretty high. It is, yep, yeah. That's, yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can get up to the ceiling to go through the hole and get um, a better vantage point. Well, how do you plan to do that? Maybe you can. This is freeform, dude. You can basically do anything you want, as long as you can explain no, it. No, I know, I know. Um, this is not now? freeform, because we haven't evolved into bullshit yet. <laughs> we will! You can tell, because there's a coher coherent story, and it isn't just a bunch of douchebags jacking off about how just... cool their characters are. Give me time. Um, Give me time. In the, what's around in the area? Is there, like, storage boxes that I can stand on? Ah, uh, no. No. There are the shelves, some of which are still really intact there are ladders next to the shelves but they are like that they are the same height as the shelves obviously because they you know, made for them uh, how tall am i again i'm like seven feet tall i think jesus christ <laughs> yeah oh hey i don't have it written down we'll just put it at an even seven feet <laughs> Fucking worst. 
And even he seven is. feet, about about three hundred and fourteen pounds. Okay, so yeah, so seven feet. I mean, <laughs> do you, you want to like? You could probably MacGyver something together and try to reach the ceiling. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I was looking for boxes to stand on so that I could reach it. No, but... no, they're done. Even the, the, you have a choice between ladders and bookshelves and you would choose boxes. I love that. I didn't realize, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was ladders. I um, literally just told you. All right, can the ladder, do the ladders reach up high enough? They are that? as tall as the shelves, again. Okay. And the shelves are like... Like how tall is a fucking bookshelf? As tall as you, I guess. You know what? Bookshelves, yeah, they tend to be that tall. You know what? I'm gonna move one of the bookshelves over underneath the hole. <laughs> okay. And use the ladder to climb up on top of the bookshelf if it can okay. hold my weight. Can it, it hold my weight? It can hold your weight, yeah. Okay. As I'm long like as you don't. As long as you pick one of the intact bookshelves and not the ones that were broken. No, it'll yeah, I pick weight. one of the intact bookshelves. Yeah, it can hold your weight. It it will be. Then, Although then once you gonna... uh... okay, you first. You first. I was gonna say once I'm up there, then I'll reach up and get, work myself into the hole. Okay, roll athletics. Roll athletics. Yes. In fact, okay. roll it twice. Okay. DC. <laughs> DC six and one DC seven. Actually. <sighs> One DC six. Let's see if you fi if you actually make that one, and maybe it gets lower. Just athletics. Yeah, just athletics. Oh, no. you don't. Oh. Even, oh, that would have worked brilliantly, but you don't even make it into the hole. Oh, okay. You basically you you climb on top of the bookshelves, you lose your balance, and you fall down. <laughs> and then you die. <laughs> you break your neck and you're dead. No. <laughs> you, fall, you fall down in a very undignified way, breaking the ladder in the process. Oh. Just, guys, I can almost reach... Crash. There's more. There's more ladders. That's okay. <laughs> will, they, will you other two do, like, say, even say anything? No. Because I know I wouldn't. Tadel turn, uh, turns around the moment she hears the crash. Just... Watches Duraz scramble to his feet again, get in the ladder. He just sighs deeply. <laughs> Duraz is such an idiot. I love it. I don't say shit. <laughs> so far, you've broken the man's door, the man's uh -huh. spirit, now his ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you yeah, done spirit. enough? What's next? No. His legs? Next, no. next yes. week, he's next home. week, he's home. <laughs> next week he's hiring on as one of the, uh, that, what was the, the mafia guy's name? Chrisom. He's gonna hire on yeah. with him, come back, break the shopkeeper's legs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so much. you, you want to try again, Sefi? No, because if it's just athletics, I'm not gonna have enough. Your second one worked fairly well. I mean, yeah. Try athletics and dexterity. It's never just athletics. If you're like jumping or something, that's like strength and athletics. That's actually fair. It's actually never just a skill, Hound. Fair enough. Try it again, Zephy. And roll, dex okay. roll athletics and uh, dex. Well, athletics is he just jumping? Actually, no, wait, wait. That would be strength because you're trying to I, like draw yourself up. I was just, yeah, I was just climbing. I was just climbing yeah, up there. That would be strength. And athletics. Okay. Oh, that's much better. But you so yeah, we you... don't look at him because some great deity screwed him out of actually being able to attempt to roll. <laughs> well, you make it this time. Oh yeah. This time, apparently. <laughs> Small life. You draw yourself up to the ceiling hole, which leads directly to the roof. Uh, the roof is um, uh, one of those steep. Uh, tiled ones. Uh -huh. So if you want to do anything, like right now, you're basically sitting. Uh, how do I say this? You're hanging on to the the window sill, more or less. Oh, okay. If you want to do I, anything, can I climb up? Uh yes, but 
then I want well no strength and uh, uh, athletics again because you have to hold on oh. you have to find a there foothold we... on the roof basically oh okay there's is there no roof like this building I just said this it's a tiled roof it's very steep you have to find a foothold oh, on it. oh I'm okay I'm sorry that was, you can't that was you can't just jump out the window I don't care that's fine <laughs> Yeah, you make it. Okay. You find a decent foothold and you can actually stabilize, stabilize yourself and you can ha now have a look around. Cool. I'm looking have a look for, around. I'm looking for any place that it could have come from. Okay. I'm assuming... Like, are there any other buildings that have, like, structural damage of any kind? Or any any place that has structural damage that looks like it might have come from the creature. Well, that would be perception. And what do you actually know about, like, roofs? Sorry. Like, can you tell how a roof was damaged if you look at it? I mean, I'm just looking for, like, holes. Anything that looks like it was patched up. Well, there were probably lots of, lots of holes in a roof because it's a roof. In a... Medieval city. I'm mm. just... Okay, I... fuck it. I'm gonna make it easy on you. Do you have tracking? Um... Like, do you have any tracking-related skill? I have, I have survival, but that's that's no. about the only tracking skill that I have. No, not than... really. You yeah. would actually use survival for tracking. Oh, you would. Wasn't there an yep. actual tracking skill? I... I was going to say, I would assume that it works like the Pathfinder or D&D &D section where it's used for tracking. I thought that was an actual tracking skill. I don't Am remember I that there was. Am I wrong here? It might be. I don't think that there was, because uh, I would have taken it. Yeah, pretty sure there is. Well, if it exists, then there would be a secondary skill, and if that's the case, then fuck you. I mean, otherwise, otherwise, I, investigation is the only other thing that I have that would be tracking. No. Related. No. Okay. No. I, I guess I'm just wrong then. Yeah. Survival. I probably. Okay. So I'm probably thinking of something else entirely. Survival. Perception survival. Yes. Cool. Add these. Well, that's DC six. Yeah. Just normal. Park sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you find several loose tiles, which, uh, like they're they're, and they're they're pattern very much corresponds to like a large insect trotting about and going through a window okay um and um they came any of these yeah, yeah I'm, I, I'm i assume you want to know the direction yes yeah uh due north more or less interesting like whatever so going, going um, towards dragon's landing the general area there, yes. Um, okay. Basically, uh, you, you can tell that something landed on the roof coming from due north, then made its way through the window yep. and down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. And if you look north while you're up there, mm -hmm. uh, Dragon's Landing is basically... It's, it's more or less a big sort of empty place lots of collapsed buildings like something bad like happened a... oh okay something bad like happened there square. no no something bad happened there and a lot of buildings got flattened you wouldn't know about okay. that because you're not actually from the city okay <laughs> also because i have to make something up <laughs> no you're fine thousands of um, people died no day. not thou not thousands but dozens thousands Thousands, millions, millions died in an instant um, as the Fire Nation attacked. No, Dragon's Land. It's it's kind of the Fire Nation <laughs> It's it's like a couple, like several blocks that are sort of like not even in disrepair, just kind of flattened and broken down. And yeah, even a giant flea could easily hide there. And who knows what lives there? To be honest, because this it kind of has been abandoned, as you can. But the, but that looks like it. that's where it came from it seems like a reasonable guess <coughs> we're all up here for reasonable guesses i'm going to basically just like lean back into the window 
I hope he falls down. At, no. At the buy count. And just tell him it looks like they came from the redevelopment site up north. Excellent. Should I meet you? Uh, How? How would you meet us there? <laughs> okay, real quick. Because I have a feeling this will get dumb. Uh, Valerie, uh, you know about the redevelopment site, obviously, because you're from the city. Duh. Yay. You lived near there all your life, more or less. Uh, whatever happened to that place, and I'm, I'm going to make something, something tragic up eventually. Probably some sort of explosion, like a gas leak or whatever. Uh, happened, Whoa. happened like over 20 years ago, right? And there are My efforts, God. there are efforts to rebuild the place. Like people are trying to get donations and stuff, but nobody is really interested in it. The city certainly isn't. They kind of they they written this whole place off because fuck it. At least it's a place where the homeless can gather. You know what I mean? Out of sight. Wow. So uh, there are like, there are rumors, widespread rumors, that there are like monsters living there and murderers, and if you go there at night, you just die and your head falls off for no reason. And stuff, shit like that. <laughs> All right. Right. So the basic, the basic like inner city rumors of like terrible, like terrible back alleys. Yes. Yes. It's just. So it's where a bunch of homeless people live. They kind of congregate there because. Well, you know, it's also, a, it's, of course, a good meeting place for all sorts of criminals. Like, not well, the, the outskirts of it, because obviously you, do, you don't go into the middle of it. That would be unnecessarily stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it's... Anyways. Yeah. So anyway, uh, you, know, you know about that part, and you also know that, well... Fuck it, for all you know, there are murderers in there and monsters. Like, Here's my question. Uh, would you know about my ability or not? Yeah, your ability. Or, would, or would, my, would Valmir know about my curse? I don't know. Would I? I don't know. What? Uh, that's kind of up to your guys' backstory. I'm not going to get involved I'm there. I'm trying to decide on that. If would you it be want. Up to Valmir's backstory? He was the one who. Both uh, of them. Wrote us all. No, that's what I said. Both of them. Okay. If, if Zephy wants him to know the details of the curse, that's that. If Zephy doesn't want him, we kind of have to respect that. Yeah. Go on, Zephy, pick a choice. It's your, I, it's your problem now. Honestly, I think I probably would have told you. Okay, then. As, as, part of, as part of the interview, like, hey, I can do this. I can change into birds and shit. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Just like as an added feature of being your bodyguard. Oh, I guess he's got crazy magic powers. I have Again. Many, I have many skills Fuck. to keep you safe, sire. He turns into a canary. <laughs> chirp, chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. But yes, no. I'll look at you and I'll be like, do you want me to meet you there? I can investigate from the air. Um, no, I prefer if you actually traveled with us for once. Okay. Oh, the shade. For once. You're, you're too dangerous to leave alone. You already broke the man's door. <laughs> what do you think I'm gonna do as a small bird? Oh my god. It's murder someone? No, it's okay. Kind of, yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll slide down off the roof and then land next to the carriage. Okay, wait. For that, that's... <laughs> well, it's athletics and something. Are you trying to hold on? Or are you just jumping? Well, I'm, I'm just... I'm just trying so to land guy. next to the carriage. Just trying to land next to the carriage. I guess technically jumping? More like sliding and falling in a specific way. 
Yeah, it's it's about like, are you really sure you want to do this? You might hurt yourself there badly. How high? Well, it's only like 14 feet. I can manage it. It's no, it's okay. Let me look. I'll this. climb back. Fine, I'll climb back through the hole. I know. No, wait. No, you. I'm totally letting you do that. I just no, want to make sure hole. you know the the risk. Because what did I say? That was like. You said athletics, I think. I said it was like seven meters, I think. Mm, I thought you said it was like four, four and a half. Yeah, but there is one more story to the house. Oh, that is that is true with the roof. So that's about seven. Oh, but to be fair, I'm sliding down to the four story, the four and a half stories. That's true. And then but... after that, and then after that, I'm dropping off. I would say it's like six meters that you have to like fall down. Okay. Um, you, I'll you're just strong. Climb back the... Okay. I mean, I would have let you. Back to the hole. Could just roll down and break your legs or something. Oh man, that would be <laughs> I'll hilarious. I'll just climb back to the. I'll just climb back to the hole. Fair enough. I think you could have made it easily though. But all right. Like, on the off chance, on the off chance that you roll only once and break your legs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would be uh, hilarious. Then Valami has to also... like. Valami has to. Drive your wheelchair for the next few sessions. No, just leave him there. <laughs> He's broken. What? I don't need him anymore. That's okay. I have life too. I can heal myself. <laughs> That's a good point. Still, it you is. shouldn't break it. Anyway, so you, you just go back to the inside and like climb down like a normal person? Yeah. Okay. Well, other than that... And I'll push the shelf back to where it was before. I mean, it's... It's all empty, but nice gesture, I guess. I'm not gonna just leave it in the middle of the room, please. <laughs> I'm not some monster. Hope you're not bringing any bookworms with you. Who knows? <laughs> I'd already be infested. I I didn't take my heart guard medication. <laughs> Shit. So yeah, um, well the the Frederick is the Frederick. The Frederick is still waiting. The Frederick is waiting. The Frederick. <laughs> He's given himself a new name. The, the Frederick. Frederick. The Frederick. Spell my name with a the. <laughs> he, no, I'm Frederick. not just Frederick anymore. I'm the Frederick. The Frederick looks at you and... I mean, honestly... <laughs> he just... Well, uh, did you find something, sirs? I believe we found our next lead. Ah. Uh, if if you if you could, sirs, um, it I it's obviously none of your business, but could I ask you to maybe help with our problem? With the fact that you owe death to a gangster of some kind. He, he just nods. You it's know when obviously... he's going to be coming when... <sighs> Alright, so who exactly do you owe money to in particular? Uh, a man named Chrisop, sir. He's, uh... He's the, um... The new... Big guy in the neighborhood. He, he took over from the... Original owners of his organization. The Keebler Elves. I don't, I, I, I don't see. know a lot about that, sir. I'm, I, 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 I don't really live on the streets anymore. Oh my, anymore? No, he's really putting it on thick, isn't he? Some hard years. Hmm. From the way he's uh. talking, he sounds more like a, uh, like a fifty-year-old man in disguise. <laughs> I'm an old man. Old man. Please, sir, um, could you help me with our tiny predicament? Would I know anything about that particular group of people? Can I? I want to point out some one thing though. I never, you never asked for his age, and I didn't tell you. Just. We just assumed he was ten years old because you uh, you said he. Looked I like said 20. he looked like yeah, yes, he looked like one. Anyway, uh, Zephy. 
I asked if uh, I asked if I would know anything about them, mm. about that group of people that they owe money to. Uh, considering you just entered the city, more or less, like a couple of days ago, no. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I've been. Oh, well, never mind. I guess because the Viscount's actual home is not here. No, no, you wouldn't have any contact with like inner city gangs out in the okay. Viscount's I estate. I have streetwise. Okay. How much would you know about like an inner city gang and the comings and goings of their bosses? Like legitimately. Enough to get me one dot of streetwise. So okay. you know you know the names of the you know the names of the groups, but the not names, who works in them. I would give you the names of the gangs, yes, because that's obviously in your interest. I could just roll it. Just roll it. All right. Intelligence? Yeah. Or wits. I'm going to go with intelligence because that's actually about like remembering information. Fair enough. What about what about hard wisdom? No. No. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> it's one of those um, weird ones that I'm not entirely sure how to use. <sighs> as part of the roll, I would like to roll mine to... Uh, Improve my cognition and better re remember information. Okay. Ooh. I succeed. You did. Uh, I had to right. the difficulty by two. So what's the difficulty for this test? Uh, just six. If we're just talking about All the right. names. If we're just talking about the names of the gangs, that's easy. Like a normal thing. Um, Four successes. Nice. Very nice. Impressive. Uh, obviously, look, like you know, there are several gangs in the city. Some small, some big. You don't exactly know their politics because that's not really your ex like area of expertise. But you know, the biggest street gang in the entire city has been for years the Dolly Sisters Bastards. They basically they started as like a, a street gang full of hoodlums like years back, and then those hoodlums grew up and grew strong and became quite savvy in, for lack of a better word, politics, and now they own large areas of the city. And when I say own, you know what I mean, like the mafia owns things, but it's not like they pay property tax. Hmm. But you would know that this is very much their um, area of influence. Good for them. All right. Hmm. You also know I that by okay. You also know that by reputation they are fucking ruthless and only have gotten worse over the last ten years. Well done. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Good for that. <laughs> Maybe I should. I want to say yes, but at the same time, I have to remember that Valamir is not exactly a good person. Yeah. He wouldn't really give a shit without like any form of payment. Yeah. No Paragon interrupt here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just imagine Connor is like, it's like he's playing Mass Effect. It's just, oh, blue option, red option. And it's like, I shall pay your debt for you and get fucked, kid. Yeah. Like, no, no in between. <laughs> the in between oh, is... Renegade. The in between is like I'll think about it. No, the renegade, the renegade option would be I'm just shooting the kid in the head right here. Yep. There you just go. Just punch the kid in the face. There you go, kid. That's life. I'm the one. I'm taking your money. <laughs> just... Those things have no. nothing on me. I actually like that idea. Just you punch the kid. That's life, kid. Learn to live with it. And then you go. <laughs> you just leave. 
It's like life, kid. Choose the renegade. Choose the renegade options. <laughs> so, how much do you owe this crew shop figure? Yes. <laughs> Just mumbles. <laughs> I think that was about 500 gold. <laughs> Are you done? 2,500 gold, sirs. Uh, 2,500 gold? He just looks at the... He looks to the ground, even though it's not even his... It's not like, it's not like he... Like, it's not like he got the money, right? It was his grandfather. But yeah, it's a ton of fucking gold. You know, you could literally just tra give them like some more crazy magic item that you have in your shop that's worth that amount, right? Promise them scrolls, promise them potions, promise them any number of things that they could use we, for their criminal endeavors. In fact, tried. actually, I'm gonna go talk to the old man. What do you mean that you tried? We tried. They weren't interested. They want. They said they want the money or the entire shop. Oh, so they just want your shop. He, he he nods. And the shop, as you can actually tell by just glancing at it, is worth way more than that. Because it's in a ridiculously good location and has like a lot of word of mouth and all that stuff. Like the, the inherent value of the shop easily eclipses uh, two and a half thousand gold. The actual material value of the shop is another story. Uh, now, young man. Young man. What exactly do you want me to do about it? I said young man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, sire. You, but you, you look like someone with contacts to the right sort of people. Someone in the guard. They, they, I, they are afraid to go there. But maybe, maybe someone higher up could do something, anything. We're desperate, sir. Then we'll look over uh, at Valamir and go. We should be able to do something, right? I mean, we can't just leave these people like this. We could burn down the shop. Then they won't. <laughs> they don't want it anymore. Crying out loud, the poor old man was so was so scared for his life and the life of his grandson that he was willing to shoot anyone that dared enter his shop. Tattle. What? Let me make something very clear. I am a Viscount. Regardless of how much they would prefer, even if we did act against this gang and we had the leader arrested, any number of things really, I am effectively untouchable with them because I'm nobility, I'm aristocracy. But anger certain individuals and they'll still attempt to strike out. So while they may not bring knives to me, there's no telling what time I'll wake up to find you and Draz with your throat, throat slashed open. I am not simply concerned for my own time and other some such. I do have other individuals that I need to look out for, so to speak. I must keep mind of those that serve me. So, in other words, you have the ability to act, and the reason why you're not doing so is because you think we can't take care of ourselves. I look at Draz, I look at Tattle, I look at the fuck- I look at the door that's just completely fucked. The doorway that's just completely fucked. I look at the money that I threw on the counter. 
he makes some compelling arguments. <laughs> Okay, the goes. That doesn't count. <laughs> I was mostly talking about myself. Let's, we're not talking about dress here. We're talking about me, the competent <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> what is dress doing the entire time? I put it in. I put it in the chat. I'm helping clean up the shop. Oh. I am oh. so tempted to have you roll for that with a DC 10 or something. Miss Potts, I'm highly doubtful that you even know which end to hold the dagger. I might not know much about daggers, but I'm quite capable in magic. As my father used to say, he knew a wizard who could break every bone in his body by simply uttering an incantation. My father then challenged him to utter the incantation with a knife in his throat. It didn't work very well for the wizard. Well, he forgot the very important rule. Don't get a knife in your fucking throat. <laughs> Pots, I believe you're missing the point. I've seen plenty of arcanists. History really has seen plenty of arcanists with too much false hubris in their own magical po potency, failing to keep in scope the realities of the world. Mag ultimate magic power is useful, but not so you, but not so useful to ward away the knives of every assassin. You, after am, all, have to sleep. I am not missing the point. I I see what your point is perfectly. However, my point still stands. We have to do something. And we then what is it, something. Mrs. Potts? What can I'm, we I'm do? I'm not entirely sure of what we should do. The best course of action has yet to be laid out. However... We still are capable of doing something. These people, they, they are not. Well, then tell me, Miss Potts, what will be our plan of action? I just told you, I don't know yet. Your entire profession and arcane talents comes from knowing, Mrs. Potts. I'm sorry, Miss Potts. Yes. Knowing is not just something you do inherently. Knowing takes research, and therefore we must research our situation before we know what to do with it. Then if you'd like to begin research and go right ahead. I would I'm love willing to begin to be researching, convinced. thank you very much. That being said, until then, we have a prior engagement that we already agreed to. <sighs> right. Let's leave this for, uh, for the moment. However, I'm not letting it go. If you have some sort of plan, Potts, I would love to hear it. I should be thinking about... Uh, I should be very much thinking about what to do. Uh. Fine. Now, Draz, we will be leaving. Okay, and as you wish, I will set aside the sort of the door sized like plank of wood that I found, I guess, somewhere in the back that I was going <laughs> to use to at least give like some makeshift cover to the door. <laughs> so you're not going to do that then? Just, oh, yeah, I'm done here. Yeah, I'm just... I'm gonna set it... I'm gonna set it up where they kind of want it, and then after that, I'm... After that, I will leave. <laughs> Excellent are, work, Raz. You're the You're worst. a credit to the community. You're the <laughs> worst person in this entire group. Look, I did break down their door. Yeah, then you didn't Let's fix see. it. Credit to team. I thought you said, like, the door couldn't be fixed. No, but... 
You literally, you say you pick up a plank and then you just put it aside. Because you have to go. I pick things up and I put them down. No, like I'm taking, I'm taking like a plank, uh, like a good like door width and length size like wooden board. And it does putting hold, it, holding it. And putting it where the door was, at least to hold, at least to provide some cover from the elements. Dress picks up a plank of wood and puts it where the door was. Of course, it's not as wide as the door, so there's literally just the door frame and a wooden plank in the said. middle. But the, <laughs> like the other... <laughs> to each side, there's still room. You can probably still leave. <sighs> the shopkeeper will not just, say anything. I just said... I just Keep said... That I was picking up a wooden board the size of the door. You can't find a wooden plank the size of the door because this then is I'm a not magic doing, shop. Then I'm not doing that. Then I'm not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> the yeah, but of that's... the door, you could put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Jigsaw door. Jigsaw. So, Valamir walks up to like the single plank. I'm not putting the like, plank there. Okay, if there's I, no not one that it up. The <laughs> there's no plank apparently. Puts it to the side of the door and then walks out. <laughs> Wordless. <laughs> hey, if there's that... not something that fits the door, I'm not doing that. Hey, hey Dress, why don't you shapeshift into a door like animal and hold it? Position there. Just become an elephant. A very flat elephant. <laughs> Anyways, um, the plank thing did not happen, and Draz <laughs> just trying as hard as he can to deny that he ever did that. <laughs> Such a you're a menace, uh, Draz. You're a menace. Anyways, getting on the carriage. <laughs> Are the rest of you coming? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm paying for the carriage, you fuck. I'm surprised the carriage is still there. <laughs> After the, the magic missile thing in the beginning. Oh, well. <laughs> it's because I'm fucking paying him and he likes money. So, he does like money. So you're going north into the downtrodden area. It's actually cordoned off. There's like, well, at one point there was like proper, I want to say police blockades and stuff like that. But nowadays it's just like rotten wood haphazardly nailed over stuff. Ooh, decay. Like, yeah, you can easily, you can easily tell where the fancy pants neighborhood ends and this shitty part begins. Oh, joy. Yeah. Oh, joy indeed. So you enter so, there. So, Drez, do you have a particular place that we're going? Um, oh. Uh, I, I thought we were just heading to Dragon's Landing. We are, but it's... Kind of big. It's it's a big, big-ish place, yeah. It's like several blocks worth. Um, was there a specific place that I noticed in Dragon's Landing that had no. an... No, no, okay. no, not from up above. From up above, it all looks the same kind of shitty and demolished. I don't really have a specific location in Dragon's Landing that was of any interest. It just was the closest location that looked like it was where they could have come from. Well, then. Oh, boy. So we may have to do a little bit of investigating. Just a little. Oh, lucky us. <laughs> oh, lovely. I always enjoy walking around these kinds of this parts of town just to, like, be covered in shit. <sighs> oh, it, don't be such a fuss part. It's not a nice place to be. Uh, however... Real quick. Once you enter this place, and by the way, the carriage gets noticeably slower. Just because the roads are in worse condition. Also because the driver is scared. 
Look, there are also rumors that the moment you stop, someone will steal all your tires. Like, all the, all the wheels of your cart. <laughs> and put them on blocks. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to find out. Then you have to leave the cart behind and the horse, which will probably get eaten. <laughs> He'd leave the horse and the carriage. And then the carriage will be eaten. Yeah, we'll probably get eaten. <laughs> anyway. Uh, look, everyone's garbage becomes someone else's food eventually. It's true. Uh, yeah. As soon as you enter into the redevelopment site proper, you do notice that there are actually people living there. Well, living... In quotation marks. Like, it's not like you would raise a family here if you have any choice. And indeed, most people don't. There's people squatting here. Basically, you see the odd... Like, not even downtrodden populace, but the populace that might as well be under the earth already. Dang. Like, this is drug Neat. central right here. There are a lot of people rolling doobies here. Down by the river. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, they're clearly like, this This is drug user, drug user central. Drug user central. Uh, but every now and then you can see like uh, remnants of a proud history, actually. Like this place looked really, really neat once. Proud history of Tim. No one remembers. Proud that. history of Tim, exactly. Proud history of Dragon's Landing. And then it got shat on by a dragon. Yep. But no, you can see this was part of the fancy pantsy neighborhood once. All the architecture is still sort of visible if you know what to look for. That sort of thing. Oh boy. Collection of misanthropes and opium addicts. Joy. Look, Tattle. It's your self proclaimed people. <laughs> there are lots of faces. Excuse me. First of all, it's Tattle. Second of all, what exactly is that supposed to mean? Third of all, it's Miss Potts to you. As he says that. There are lots of faces staring at you. Maybe because you're newcomers, maybe because you look rich, maybe because you're literally riding, like, driving a cart which is drawn by lunch. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But a lot of faces staring at you. From... Maybe because someone in your party is a giant lizard? Yes, no, a lot of, like, from all... That, actually, yeah, good point. More lunch. <laughs> More lunch. Like, like, no, okay. They they stare all at you, and you can tell there are dozens of people just near you, and who knows how many in the shadow, in the sh the shadows, in the shadows, the shadows, shadows, the, the shadows, the even darker shadows, the shady shadows, the shady shadows. Yeah, no. That... So yeah, I I want to I want to say this place is packed. Like a football stadium, but more depressing. Oh, pretty much the same level of depressing, really. <laughs> oh boy. Um, any of my kind that are in this development site? I want to say no. At least none that you can okay. see. Okay. Hmm. You can see if all most other races, though, like the well, the common ones, dwarves, elves, half elves, lots of half elves actually. Dang. Humans, obviously, but no, not no lizards so far. Hmm. Half orcs. The odd one here and there, but clearly really? not the majority. Yeah, but not the majority of like by any stretch of imagination, like single digits. 
Really, normally it's the other way around. Weird. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Mm. <sighs> well, I guess should, we should start inquiring. Oh yes, I think that'll turn out rather nicely. We simply walk up to these poor people and ask them one after one, Excuse me, have you noticed any increase in giant bugs in the neighborhood? <laughs> I mean... Yes, I do believe... Problem. I do believe my kid... I was uh, scheduled in for a new kidney piercing. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the question. They will probably, they probably will tell you they saw all kinds of giant monsters at the night after they took their medicine. Lots of dragons. Or, more importantly, yeah. haven't been taking their medicine. <laughs> I, you will probably find that most of these people take their, their medicine very regularly. Excessively, excessively, you could say. It's, it's like they yeah. can't even stop. I was joking about withdrawal, but that also works. <laughs> Gay <laughs> drugs. Um, the, uh, uh, by the way, what kind of cart is it that you drive? I didn't even ask. Like, do you want an open uh, one? It's or literally one? like a cart that we hired off the fucking street. Yeah, but do you want it to be an open one or closed one? Oh, it probably really, <laughs> considering the time period, probably like one of those open carts with like the cloth overhang. Okay. In that case, the driver will lean back and in a very worried whisper, Governor, I, I'm not okay with just leaving the, with the, like parking here. They'll eat the horse. I'm sorry, but you you uh. don't pay me enough to get a new horse, even if I get out of here again. That is. I understand. Hmm. Once we find the, once we find a certain location that we're looking for, I'll ask you to return after a certain period of time. All right, all right. That, yeah, that sounds good. I'll wait at the, like the entrance where we came in. All right. Sure. Otherwise, and I hand him like, and I hand him two gold. Feel free to treat yourself to lunch until then. He bites into the gold piece, <laughs> and he goes. Gotta. He, look, he heard it. He heard that you have to do that from his father, so he just does it. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's looking for, by the way. He just bites into it. He doesn't know why he does it. He just knows he has to do it. He's never been given a. Uh... A fake coin. As far as he knows. <laughs> He's, look, he, he didn't have a higher education, okay? He was in the school of my father told me once. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, the reason takes... why, you, why you bite the coin, good sir, is that you try to bend it slightly since false gold is more flexible and doesn't bend as easy as real gold. His face lights up with sudden understanding. Like th this is like this is a this was a mystery he thought about for years and he never ca came close to solving it. Probably because he asked the wrong people. He looks at you with like admiration. And then he gives you a silver coin. Because you taught him something new, like a change, <laughs> and nods at you and just, I'll wait at the entrance then, sir. And thanks. He bites the coin again and looks at it, and seems very happy about it now. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that I've done my good deed for the day. <laughs> That's it for the rest of the year. You really changed that man's life, didn't you? Apparently. <laughs> That'll be it for a while. Find me a child whose legs I can break. <laughs> I wish to flans the flesh of a still-leaving puppy. Mm. 
Mm. Yes. One thing you yeah, actually here's one thing you also notice um, about this place. One thing you notice about this place uh no dogs or cats. Oh, I wonder yeah. why. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey Zephy. No one will ever know. <laughs> Zephy, wanna shapeshift no. into an animal? No. <laughs> I was gonna be a, I was gonna be a small bird and do some aerial reconnaissance, but I'm gonna get shot out of the air. <laughs> oh yep. yeah. I was waiting for that to brick. be honest. I was waiting for that to be honest. <laughs> I would have made him dodge bricks. Oh well. Got out of the air with a brick. <laughs> yep. I land on a building to look around. Zephy, roll perception, perk alert. Oh no, I failed. What happens? You get hit with a brick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You get eaten. So yeah, the um, your cart driver lets you out. And by the way, he doesn't stop. He just goes very, a very slow, very slow trot while you get out. And then he hoofs it out of there. Before they can steal his wheels. He seems adamant that that rumor is true. Well, considering how these people have been eyeing his horse. Anyway. I, pass, I put it past them. You are now in... I want to say near some buildings that are uh, like you can live in them to a certain They're degree. Livable. They have like almost four four walls and a roof. You know what I mean? Holy shit! Right. It's the this is the upscale neighborhood. Yeah, you're fairly far Three away and a half from walls, most of the roof. Other than that, around you are what uh, Valamir would easily recognize as drug dens. And the real shitty kind. I'm keeping yeah. my tail pulled up very close to me. But do you think someone will steal it? They might. Uh, I, think <laughs> someone, I think someone might try and chop it off and eat it. Yep, they might. And it's a pain to grow that thing back. They might, actually. Well, you see, Draz, all you need to do is establish who is going to be eating whom. Exactly. Give him, uh, give him a look that says you're really hungry. Surely this will solve everything. <laughs> He'll give a smile that's like... A, it's a terrible smile, and it's <laughs> just full of sharpened <laughs> teeth. <laughs> Anyway, you're smiling at the wrong people, Drive. Anyway, uh, what are you? What are you three going to do? All right, now, Drez, if, if you have, you have a general idea on where we're going, correct? Uh, Am I general? The, yes, a general idea. The general idea was that it was in Dragon's Landing. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Hence the reason I said we may have to do a little investigating. Oh, great. As much as I bashed the plan earlier, perhaps we really do have to go around and just ask. Um... I mean, was there anything that stood out, Hund, in Dragon's Landing? No. Okay. Mm, yep. I, I'm gonna say this much about this place. If you would, if you want to hide something illegal, this is the place to do it. So there's still like people staring at us, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You you stand out like a sore thumb. For one all thing, for one thing, you're obviously all more or less sober. You don't have any pipes in your hand or other drugs. We're wearing pants. You're wearing pe <laughs> you're wearing actual clothes. Yep. That are probably not stolen. Probably. You don't seem to have any wounds. That's a big one. Actually, if you look around. Almost like, not even almost, like all of the people around you are in some sort of 
like ailment. They all have like wounds that didn't properly heal, bro broken legs, or just a limp. So, just horrible shit like that. Uh, hmm. Like these people so, are the like the lowest of the low. Brilliant. So Valamir will kind of like squick, squick. Uh, <laughs> that, that fits. Scan. That fits. Um, we'll kind of like uh, quickly scan his eyes across the various people, and then he will single out the one that looks to be the most salient. You find makes eye contact with that guy. You find a handful of those people. Yeah, if you you can you can yeah you can single one out and try to get close to him. Also, I'm keeping my eye on uh, everyone and everything around us. Jesus. Uh, in case someone tries to pull something. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say to make this easier on you. As long as you stay out in the open. You will see anyone who is trying to attack you from like a mile away. Neat. I'm just making it a bit easier on you, so we don't have to roll every five seconds. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, let's face it, most of those people they wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, I do get like sixty ten. Let's be honest. No, I mean like even against like you know each Able. other. Oh. oh. You, the one in the shit-covered burlap sack, I have a question for you. About five people turn towards you. The one that, <laughs> the one that still has half of his teeth. Three of them turn back. <laughs> the one with the, the one with the, the one with the messed up eye. Oh, the guy with the one with. The guy with two eyes just goes oh, and turns back to whatever he was doing. The other dude, <laughs> the other dude points towards his head, points towards himself, and and, and kind of makes a like what what passes as a grin around here. Oh dear. He still has half his teeth. It's it's half a grin. Okay, it works sort of. Yeah. Like in fact, everything about this guy is kind of like half there. He's like half a bald spot. Half a half a grin, half his eyes. Walks with a limp. One of his arms is kind of mangled. But he looks happy. So, you know, I don't know. so he goes to he so goes he he limps towards the obvious fucking rich dude. Slash, yeah. slash career criminal, because well. <laughs> Wait, Who did else? you say he sprint? He sprints towards him. I said he limps. limps. Oh, limps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> he is intimidatingly limping at me. <laughs> and I take him down. <laughs> he's got a gun. He's got a gun. He has half he's a down, gun. Mr. President. He has he's half down, a gun. Mr. Count. Half a gun with half a bullet. <laughs> oh God. Get down, Mr. Fire Count. He's got a half a gun. Oh, Get halfway Careful. down. He's okay. black. He you called oh, the police. God. He cripples himself towards you. Cripples. Cripples. Himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. he just fucking kneecaps himself while he walks towards you. No, no. Okay. He limps towards. He limps towards Valamir, who, let's be honest. Looks like a career criminal, even at the best of times. And right here, he right does. now, good God, he commands respect of all the wrong kind. <laughs> the man uh, oh, limps towards. So right. The man limps towards you, stops at a respectable distance, like a meter, so you don't have to smell him so much. Oh, that's thoughtful. And then nods towards Valamir. What can I do for you? Um, what, what can I do for you, Gab? Name's Harry. Halfway Harry. Valmir will start like rolling a silver coin in his fingers. Not like super obviously, so other people won't notice, but in a way, but he will do it so that he can see it. Right. Well, the he guy he's talking it. to. So oh. the guy's not going to be worried about being fucking stabbed for this coin later. He, he will be, though. He will be. Yeah. yeah. Everyone yeah. knows it. He'll be worried not about being problem. stabbed for no reason whatsoever. 
Well, sucks to be that guy. Yeah. Sucks to be halfway Harry. I'm not halfway Harry. Halfway Harry. Half that's Harry. how he, he that's how he introduced himself to you. Hi, I'm I'm halfway Harry. I do everything halfway, including my gun. So I'm, uh, halfway a pleasure. Harry. I am interested in the few going ons in this area. Nothing major, of course. Investigation that has led that has led me to here. You wouldn't happen to know an individual who know the area well, an individual who I can speak to for more in depth information, the going ons. He eyes the silver the silver coin. Ah. Uh, I might, I might. I might. I might. What's it to you? Who's, <laughs> who's ask? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? I am. Who's asking? Well, Gav, I, I would need a name. You know, I can't just give information out to anyone. Might be a copper. Viscount Valamir. Actually, no, it's a silver. He, he, like, raises an eyebrow when he's asked for a copper. Valor just kind of, like, glances down at his hand. <laughs> like, what the fuck does this look like? Why <laughs> <laughs> can't, eh? Can I call you Vic? I'm gonna call you Vic. See, Vic, this whole place kind of under the control of... Viking. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, are you actually interrupting him? Yes. Okay, in which case he will just, he will back up if he, whoa, 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 I mean no disrespect, big guy. Just, let's all calm down here. Nobody has to get hurt, right? <sighs> but let's see, you see Vic, this, this whole place here, kind of under the control of big old Chris up. If he finds out, I'm telling everyone what he's up to. But a bing bada boom, he's gonna kill me. Gonna... Bada bing bada boom. Yeah, I'm gonna go Good to bed, I'm gonna wake I'm up not dead. In what he's up to, I just wanna ask somebody for some information. I'm trying to find out where fleas the size of small children came from. Well, like, also, the, the flea was way bigger than a small child, just saying. Well, uh, how big was. Uh, generally, how big was the flea? The flea was. Um, the size of an adult? Actually, the size of a pony is pretty good. The size of a big pony. Oh, okay then. Dang, a big pony? That's a horse. No. <laughs> 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 oh, the size, of a, the size of a big pony, small horse, you know. <laughs> You're a slightly, slightly smaller than average elephant. No, I mean, <laughs> like a really, a really big donkey. About the size of a, sm of a small, a small man. Like about a third of the size of, you know, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> the size of a, okay, the size of a large pony. Okay. So a horse. So a horse. Yeah. A, horse a, is horse. Actually, a horse is even bigger, but whatever. I'm sure large fleas come. Is the size of a horse. Fleas come in all kinds of sizes, I'm sure. What do you think no. a large pony is? Large pony is just a small horse. No, a large pony is the size of a horse. It's not a horse. You think I'm joking, horse. but I'm not. <laughs> anyway. Pony. I kind of imagine this, <laughs> this. I kind of imagine this is all in game. Just you just you just debate over the size of a small pony <laughs> slash Definitely. small horse. <laughs> okay, and I'm Harry. I'm looking for players for a bunch of Harry. The Harry, size of a fucking pony came from. Harry? I can't well, imagine you know where this is, so I'm asking okay. for somebody who can tell me where the fuck <laughs> this is. Harry will just... Okay, it's the size of a small... Like, okay, so like the size of a small horse or a big pony. Have I got this right? Okay. It's, it's a flea. fucking big. Yeah, you said it was a flea. Yes. That, that don't sound like anything that lives here, Governor. We you can see why people are concerned then. We we would have actually when he talks, he actually says would have. We would have eaten that. Like years ago. 
I'm not going to lie, so it probably would have eaten people. May I have, may have gov, may have gov, but eventually someone would have eaten it. That's how it goes. And I'm actually, honestly, that's probably why I left this neighborhood. It ran off into another part of the city, and we're currently tracking down its place of origin. It, it got too depressed by the living conditions here. It had to leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it had to think of the future of its children. The man, okay, Likely. Harry. Okay, Harry looks around a bit, looks up into the sky, rolls his eyes, then goes closer to you. Look, Gav, why don't we talk about this? In a more secluded area, if you know what I mean. And he kind of he kind of motions you towards an, a nearby alley, where you don't stand out in the open too much. Is this the kind of alley where you get lead into, and then somebody hits you in the back head with a brick, and you wake up in a bathtub full of ice with a missing kidney? Are you asking that in character? No. Damn it. That's, that's all the alleys in this place. Because I would have a, I would have had a great answer to that. Oh well. <laughs> Only because I don't know that you can wake up with your kidney missing. Because most people die from that <laughs> in this fair. time period. That is fair. The question becomes, in this time period, why would anyone even take your kidney? Nah. Because it tastes good. But the rest of you tastes also good, so they would take your whole body. That's true. Yes, that is not at all suspicious. Here, come follow me in this dark, secluded alley, where there is absolutely no murderers, muggers, or rapists. I uh, don't be, absolutely don't be a, none. I don't be a feared governor. If I wanted to kill you, I would have done so. Well, if you wanted to kill me, then I would have fed you with grass. <laughs> curiously, curiously enough. And I'll, and I'll do the, I'll do the really like terrible, <laughs> creepy smile with all the sharp fangs. <laughs> <laughs> curiously, you know, curiously, his speech patterns get worse and worse. <laughs> you go into the alley. I don't know why. That's actually that's just coincidence. Tail will um, actually find her in her uh, in her wherever she keeps. I want to say her specialized wand pocket within her uh, within her coat. Your just wand holster. Your, hand on it. your wand. wand holster. Your wand holster. She's got it inside of that stupid little cape she wears. It's just in an inside pocket is all it is. Exactly. And she just just keeps a hand on it. Right next to the right next to some right next to, you know, some change. Yeah, and some eye yeah. mute. <sighs> now if you like to have a private conversation, sure, but you do realize that if I, if anything tries to happen, then you are going to be the first with the knife in your stomach. And then if end up in the stomach tries of jazz. To happen. <laughs> he will. I'm okay. fucking tired. Okay, here's what. Get okay. off my fucking nuts. Harry, just stop fighting, guys. We're all friends, except for Zephy, who everyone hates. Aww. <laughs> if you can't. Since you can't see me, I'm just giving a thumbs up to the computer screen. Aww. <laughs> now, I, now I feel bad. I'll get I over don't. it. I'll get over it. <laughs> anyway, the okay. Harry waves you into an alley, and then stabs you. No, <laughs> no, no. You know. Waves you into an alley. Looks across the little. Uh, it, it's not a plaza, but it's like. Like an empty area. Mm -hmm. Looks about that. And then turns toward Valamir. Nah, don't worry. I won't. I won't hurt ya. I get in trouble with the guard. Sue. What I say now? Hush, hush. Okay. And he kind of he pulls down one eyelid, like in this one of these stupid gestures, like ooh, uh, secret agent or something. Because <laughs> you see, I am an informant for a city. Oh wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He actually tries to nudge you. Yes, reciprocal wink, wink, and nudge, nudge, and whatnot. Ah, you see what I mean, Gav? You're a smart one. It's, I, can, I could tell the moment I saw you. Saw you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Individuals so intelligent as I are the ones specifically handpicked for missions where we go into 
Dragon's Landing. What did I do with my life? No. <laughs> I, I, no. I don't know exactly what the Dolly Sister Bastards are up to here. But I have a feeling it's two blocks over there. And he points towards the city wall. Where there are um, old mm, municipal buildings, you could say. It's like, it's like right over here. Uh, yeah, more or less. Like okay. one, two, uh, about two blocks away. There are old municipal buildings, which you probably wouldn't know, actually. So you will see when you get there. And he goes on. You see, a couple, like some months ago, the people living there kind of sort of vanished. And they weren't all eaten, I can tell you that. We would have noticed. Uh -huh. And there wasn't any screaming or anything of the sort. But we also didn't really go there because, you know, what's in it for us, right? Nothing. Gotta look out for number one. Or you step in number two around here. Yes. Very. So, I was planning on telling the guard, but then I didn't. Did you Your just, work just kind of, ethic <laughs> it's kind and of sustainable off. morality are unrivaled. Yeah, well... I only get Fortunately, paid. Unfortunately, I don't really give a shit. Oh, that's great then. I don't either. He kind of just, just grins at you with his, like, mouth full of, like, half full of teeth. Wonderful. They, didn't call, they don't call me halfway hairy for nothing. So I'm assuming they're not going to particularly like it if I just roll on up to the little hideout and start demanding that I speak with people. Ah, you may, you might do that. You might do that, sir. You might even survive. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. So, how do I talk to someone without getting stabbed in the mouth? Wow, you could sneak there, I guess, or pretend to be lost, or you could pretend to be one of Chrysop's men doing a supply run of sorts. You know, bring in the new drugs and get out the old... Why would I need to sneak into their hideout when I just want to know where the giant fucking fleas came from? Well, uh, I... Guess you could just walk up to it and ask that. I mean, I wouldn't. Maybe you can. You look kind of fancy, sir. Rich. You just go there, jangle a bit of money around, it might work. Fuck it, what's the worst thing that happen? My life so to become a living hell where everything that I've ever aspired to that my parents put me on for has become entirely irrelevant. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? Die. Uh, we're not going for sure, much longer whatever. because Here's I'm getting tired. <laughs> what? We're not going on for much longer because I'm getting tired. <laughs> Alright. Congratulations. Here's a fucking coin. You win the lottery. What kind of coin do you give him? The silver coin? I throw the fucking silver at him. I don't throw it at him. He not snatches like aggressively it. Throw. He, he snatches it. Bites into it, actually loses a teeth. <laughs> loses a tooth. He loses a teeth, teeth falls on, he doesn't even give a fuck. That and really only it. works with gold. And puts the coin in his pocket. Yeah, good coin, good coin. I can trade that for all kinds of... You know... Stuff. Proper education, medical care, food... Clothing, oh, I might, clothing I might, that isn't covered in shit. I might do that. I might do that, Gov. Eventually. Were you to judge me? 
You can't. Oh, you can waste it on drugs. Because this is what your life has come to. You could have been something, Henry. You could still be. And said you wasted it all on drugs. I did, I did. But at least I can remember my name. It's not Henry. It's Harry. His name is Harry. Harry. It's... Yeah. Thanks, Tits. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to be remembering much in a bit. <laughs> oh, he played his hand. <laughs> he overplayed his hand. Tail just gets more and more red in the face. <laughs> yeah, okay, wait. Harry, because he apparently also has only half a brain. <laughs> Sidles closer, and I mean sidle. He sidles closer to tail. What? I, I call it like I sees it. Hey, you know what? I just came into a bit of cash. And he holds up the silver coin. Maybe oh, you want it. Her one is at his throat immediately. If you say another word, I'm going to blow your fucking head off of your neck. And trust me, I think the inhabitants of this place will be rather happy for that nice roasted meal. You do realize that he only know he doesn't know that's a wand, and you just point poking him in the throat with a stick, right? <laughs> Maybe I should give him a small example. Well, then he'll be dead, and that doesn't really help your case. This is why people use daggers, knives, blades. Yeah, you're overthinking so how the table. how does he react? <laughs> well... Fucking criticizing her intimidation attempt. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, chicken. No, that's fair. We can do this. This is, this is actually all in character for you. This is great. It is. It's just, very in character. It's just such a... Bellamy, Bellamy is such a douchebag. You know that's yeah, not yeah. how you intimidate someone. Let me show you how you intimidate someone. Then the light show starts again. <laughs> <laughs> so how does uh, how does Harry react to this? Well, Harry, first of all, is kind of taken aback because he thought you had a thing going on. You know, that's no, he doesn't say that, but he thinks it because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So Harry, true to his character, just kind of steps back immediately, like from the one two, which he thinks is just a stick. <coughs> so, but you know, and just whoa, 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 whoa! Sorry, there, lady. Didn't want to insult ya. Well, nothing but. You shouldn't be calling me one of my bodily parts in the future. I'm sorry. I get nothing but respect for the weaker for the weaker gender. You know. Tail uh, throws not uh, not a full on fireball, but <laughs> definitely sets uh, sets part of him on fire. <laughs> Which part? Now that's the good question. Part of me wants to say the rest of his hair. Ah, not worth the effort. So I see like pots beginning to do magic, right? And I like call yeah. up a hand of pots. No, no, you see, you're doing it wrong, Pots, when you need to intimidate or beat somebody. Shut up, or you're next. <laughs> you have people for that, Pots, and it's much more satisfying. Draz, if you would, for Miss Pots. I don't need to have anything done for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, what's Draz doing? Zephy? Dress blue screened. Yep. Dress, dress just stands there. Just duh. Anyway, I was uh, hoping let's... he was gonna like Bane backbreaker the guy. Me too. That would've been cool. Me too. It would. Yeah. And be like, so, neither yeah. you nor I can do that, Miss Potts. Anyway, this is why you have people for these things. Well, while Zephy is AF, uh, is AFK apparently, or has forgotten that he's muted or whatever, like he usually does. Um. <laughs> Uh, what is it that I, uh, I wrote again? I mean, I have uh, I have what I uh, what I need to uh, to do the fire thing. So it's Arete and what? You would need Prime Two Forces Two. You have that correct? Yep. All right. So then it'd be like a Forces Two effect. I don't know if it counts as vulgar. 
it's a wand. Well, seeing how magic is kind of known and all that, you know. No, it wouldn't. So, bibbity bobbity bacon. Yeah. yeah. You just um, you okay. Okay. Take... Let me. Uh, I want to make one thing clear because it comes up right now. When you use magic, I don't exactly treat it as vulgar. And like, ooh, it has to be secret and stuff because everyone knows magic exists. But I will treat it as legal and illegal. Like, if you fire up, if you like do a fireball in the middle of the marketplace, people will be on your ass. <laughs> but if you do it here, I'm sorry, that, I'm I'm thinking of the wrong words. We're using scourge, not paradox. Is it vain? No. As no. in something that I'm doing just for myself? No, it says <laughs> it's different. not the thing. If you it... motherfuckers read the book. No, it is not, Connor. No, it's not. It's 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 perfectly perfectly fine. I'm asking oh. that because that affects what happens next. So that means you would roll uh, difficulty three plus the highest uh, rating sphere you're using in the rotes, which would be two. So it's a difficulty five, and you would roll your arate as a dice pool against a difficulty of five. Get on that shit, home dog. Okay, I have an arate of two, so... Uh, you roll two dice. Okay, so 2d10? Yep. Yep, and you're trying to get at least... One um, five. One success. At least one five. Alright, is there anything I can do to uh, to ensure one success? You like, can spend a point of willpower. Um, I want to do that. I want to spend a point of willpower. Do it. Alright. Firstly, I think it's a bit of a waste to just burn a hobo, but hey... I Otherwise, you can right. spend quintessence at a one for one rate to decrease the difficulty. I see. Actually, you're right. I'm, I don't want. I don't want to, to just. I don't want to spend willpower on burning a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of stupid. It would fit the char right? It would be totally in character, though. But you know. It would be in character. <laughs> anyway. Uh, do you keep in mind that as part of your um. <laughs> Demeanor and nature. If you do something that is part of your nature, you get willpower back for it. Oh, cool. Oh, they... In that case, I can easily just spend one willpower and get one willpower back for it. Well, it depends on what your nature is and how well you act up to it. Ah, oh, god damn it! I just X out a bit. I want to say, okay, I want to say as as DM, her throwing a, a fireball at that hobo is perfectly in character, and yeah, she would get willpower back. Yay. All right, so spend a point of willpower. Yay! Because that's Tutorial. just a, that's but that's just her anger getting out of control. That is kind of a so you get an automatic does. success. If you want to spend quintessence, then that, this would be the time to do it. Nah. Hmm. Otherwise, you can roll your spell, <laughs> motherfucker. I think I'll just roll my spell. I don't really think I need cool. to spend any quintessence. Nah, roll that right. bitch. <laughs> You're roll literally, the bitch. Literally attacking a homeless person. That's one success. I said. All right, so you get one automatic success. Um, you spent that. I'd say that this would be effectively a, a rote trying to do damage. Would yeah. you Would you agree with that? All right. So the for so because you're using a force of sphere and a magical damage that adds a plus one automatic success to the base damage. And nice. he already succeeded. This isn't the kind of effect that he can dodge, so he's fucked. So he takes six health levels of damage. Jesus. I don't think I don't. I don't think setting what little hair he has on fire is going to uh, is going to take six health levels off of him. No, that just means that he went a little too whole hog and then ignited his skin. Yeah. She said she will deliberately make it weak, though. Exactly. Oh, then yeah, you could like tone it down a bit. I mean, it all depends on whether or not you want to do damage. I don't want to do damage, I just want to teach fire. him a lesson. All right, I want to cool. burn the rest of his stupid hell. You don't want it's to do why I wanted, It's why I asked. You don't want to do want last... damage the road. You don't want to do lasting damage. Exactly. You just want to light his fucking hair on fire. Cool, awesome. Yeah. His hair is on fire. But you can see how dangerous fu throwing fucking fireballs can be. Yeah. That's why I deliberately said it wasn't a fireball. I thought he did. Yay. Okay. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, then, um, <laughs> well, Harry's hair is on fire. Jeez, that's not good. Yep. Oh, really? Harry, I okay, so Harry is in the, 
So Harry is in the middle of being a sexist pig. <laughs> and then suddenly, his head combusts. Yep. And it so takes him... Small, that's, a, that's a small spark from the end of uh, Tadel's wand. Uh, probably as she's probably right as she says, I don't need anything done for me. Uh, she says four. His head, uh, his hair just fucking ignites. I mean, it's not like a massive burst of flame. It's just right. suddenly his hair is on fire. Okay, so Harry doesn't notice immediately, but like it, it takes him like two or three seconds as his grin falters and. Just pain comes over him as he like like just uh, tries to touch his hair and just feels fire. Just ah ah ah! And then he runs away. Sorry, I don't want to scream too loud. Evidently, you do, Mrs. Potts, since you lack all sense of self-control. Yeah. So he runs. He runs away, uh, screaming wildly. His hands trying um, in vain to get out the fire. If he had long sleeves, they would be on fire, by the way. <laughs> Actually, but it wouldn't be in vain because it's not its not like a fucking uh, bursting flame. It's a pyre of fire. It's something that you could easily pat out with your hands. Okay, I'm not... I, I, I don't have the experience with burning hair that obviously you have. He <laughs> has all that additional meth in his hair. Meth, very flammable, oh, yes. Literally in that explodes. case, he just fucking combusts immediately. It just <laughs> explodes. No, he, uh, he runs away from the alley and just kind of dives into a nearby dirt pile and just puts like, like sand and old ash on his head. Actually, uh, as, uh, as, the, uh, as the Viscount says that she likes self-control, Turtle says, if I lacked self-control, his head would be gone. You know, that really didn't help your case. Oh. She said something clear. Oh, yes, I'm so intimidated. Uh, fear. Complete uncontrollable fear that is currently expressing itself through my face, actions, and very words. I oh, tremble I'm not trying to intimidate you. I know very well that, a, that someone like you will not be intimidated simply on the uh, on account of the fact that you're too stuck up on your uh, own you're too stuck up your own ass to be intimidated by anything really you're too busy just commenting on the world i'm merely conveying to you that you're very very annoying and i as a person do not appreciate being in the company of annoying people for long jeez you're like an old married couple <laughs> <laughs> But it does seem to be a shame that you're that I'm currently your only source of income. That being said, <laughs> oh, wow! I do believe we have better things to do besides Becker. For example, getting shipped <laughs> by gangsters. <laughs> right. Well, we know where to go. More or less. Time to figure out exactly where it is. Um, I can actually, I will right mark there. it on the map. That's what the map is for, right? Duh. What? Okay, you are, let's see, you are about here-ish, little X, hey. and the buildings are about here, like this block. So we get to go out of Dragon's Landing. Yay! We cannot be covered in shit. Well, it's not that much better, but at least the buildings over there are still fucking standing. Whoa! Like basically, crazy. Uh, in terms of Dragon's Landing, basically this whole area is fucked up in varying degrees. The empty part is the worst. That's where nothing's standing anymore. Just get rid oh, okay. of this. But if you go closer to the, the city wall, there's less destruction. All right, then. But think of this as like a, a piece of the pie that's kind of has been eaten. 
pizza pie. Exactly. So yeah. You're going towards the little circle thingy. Kind of Triangle Street. I wonder where Ziffy went. Uh, he... He's trying to say something, but we're not hearing anything. <laughs> maybe he fall as maybe he fell asleep and that's him snoring. I don't know. Oh, I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, since Zephy is gone anyway, and I'm getting really tired, and we've been playing for two and a half hours, let's just give you XP, yeah. and I can prepare this next place until we meet again. Yay. So, let me just stop the recording here.